So today, uh, I'm gonna be doing a little overseeing. You see, I got some Kentucky uh, 31 fresh gear. Just wanna mix it up half and half. Try to save a little bit, I got other seasoning things that I gotta do with my mom and dad. The thing is, I chose some fresh gear. Fix the camera here. Because, man, you can basically throw that crap up. Uh, you can basically throw that stuff to the wall in there. So what I'm hoping, you see I mowed the lawn. I have some patches here. I'm going to fix that today too. What I'm hoping is that that will take off and the help with the uh, during the winter, it gets kind of sparse because, I mean, we have mostly summer grass. You can see it's just turned spring, early, early spring. But my wife, which I've done it too, is bad to drive to the yard during the winter because, uh, for whatever reason, we blocked the end uh, construction or whatever. But I have to fix this. You can see the drive marks. It's coming greener, but that, well, that really means that you've got a healthy lawn that it was able to rebuild itself that strong. But I see the weak areas here. So I'm going to try out uh, some Scotch uh, Patch Master and uh, just stay tuned and uh, we'll see how it does. <laughs> Still early in the season. The yard needs to work, but hey, you know, that's the good part about spring and summer is the work. I mean, in the spring, well, I put the work in in the fall. I uh, kept it uh, cut as much as I could and winterized with Scots. Not that I'm too crazy about Scots, but uh, yeah, summertime, it's going to look great. I promise you. <laughs> if you just watch and stay tuned, yeah, it's going to look great. It's kind of overheated. I'm going to throw down some water on it again. A little early, but... Uh, it never hurts. Never hurts to hurt something. Put more argon out, you can't really hurt it too much. I mean, you can turn your glass black. I do dine around when that's happened. This is good stuff. My friend messes a truck around with me and tries to tell me I'm an unofficial from the wagon out, which I'm not. I just think they make a good product. And we've already put, we've already overseed a little bit. But this ain't gonna hurt it. So I'm gonna throw this down and I'm gonna get to the Scotch, Scotch, Scotch patch uh, mask mix. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna put down this patch master. You can see I use my uh, high-tech uh, digging tool there. I thought I had a trowel, but I guess I didn't. So basically what I did, I just scooped up uh, with the claw hammer there, <laughs> all the old dead grass. I'm just gonna put this down. That's what the direction says to do, prep, apply, water. So pretty much foolproof. Now I hear a lot of people complain about this stuff. You know, it's just basically newspaper, as you can see. That's what it is. It's like drawing in or something. Just shredded newspaper and mostly uh, fescue. For the most part, it's like a wood. It's not good everywhere. Uh, it's got some perennial rye grass, silver dollar rye, creeping red fescue. Treasure 2, uh, Chewing's Fescue, Abbey, Kentucky Blue. Hmm. Well, I guess people are wrong. But, back to the task again. Just throw it down. Everybody, like, told me that I've talked to them about what's good on the stock side. But this, is, the best way to do this is just keep it wet. And the way the weather's been, you know, that's not going to be a problem. Oh, more. Try to the outside. 
rods. And I guess that is a good idea. Let's go ahead and wet it, which it says to do, but it'll blow away it's kind of windy today. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll be back and let you know how it turned out. Uh, if this don't work, I've, which it should, but you never know. I've, uh, I've had heard read mixed to things, mixed opinions and mixed reviews about it, but uh, just keep uh, watching and comment below and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.